To balance the equation CaCl2 plus NaHCO3, I've already added everything up. It's kind of a long equation. The one thing I do want you to watch out for, though, is the oxygens here on the product side of the equation. We have three, four, five, six oxygens. And then carbons, we have one here and one here. So we have two carbons. It's essential that you counted these up accurately before you balance the equation. So it looks like we have oxygens, three to six, that's doubled. Carbons, one to two, that's doubled. Hydrogens, one to two, that's double. So I'd like to put a coefficient of two in front of the NaHCO3. So now we have three times two, that equals six. We have one carbon times the two, that equals two. One hydrogen times the two, that equals two. So all of those things are balanced. One sodium times the two gives us two sodiums. At this point, we have two sodiums here and one here, two chlorines here and one here. So all I really need to do is put a two as the coefficient in front of NaCl. Now I have one sodium times two. That'll give me two. One chlorine times the two. That gives me two. And we're done. Everything is the same on each side. This equation is balanced. The key for this one really is to make sure that you count all the atoms up, all these oxygens, and then these two carbons here accurately. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.